Hello, friends. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Healthy Life. I can't believe we're still on the air, Mary. They haven't canceled us yet. Or I thought they might move us over to UHF. I'm dating myself, UHF. But we're so glad to be here. And we're so happy of and grateful for all of the followers and all of you that watch our episodes of The Healthy Life. Uh, we hope you're getting a lot out of this. Uh, we love your feedback. You know, post on it. Make sure when you watch your episode, you like it. Um, you can share it. And you can follow us, too, on The Healthy uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, this week's topic, we're so excited about, you know, getting to a goal. That's what we're going to talk about, getting to a goal. Is it a straight path? Mm, maybe not. But we're going to be talking to that. My wonderful coach Mary is with us. But we're going to talk about something really quick. If you hear anything that leads to a physical activity, setting a weight loss plan, always, always, friends, seek advice from your doctor before you start a weight loss plan. The Healthy Life is about healthy mind, body, and soul. So we don't always get into weight loss, but if we do, please, please consult a doctor. They're the ones who should set the path and the course for you. But we'll be your biggest cheerleaders, right? We have our shows on one win, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we co-host a, a healthy meeting on Monday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have a Facebook group um, with over 2,000 members, um, which is just full of support. It's called Coach Ben and Coach Mary's Weight Loss, Wellness, and Fun because fun. we have a lot of fun in there. It's a lot of um, support, and we just love you guys, so please uh, make sure that you uh, check in with us on Facebook. We have a lot of support and a lot of members. And on Monday nights at eight o'clock. And guess what, guys? Right now, all the meetings are free. So just sign up every single um, Friday. It comes um, available to register for your tickets on Eventbrite. So Monday nights at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time is when we do a meeting. So you get two coaches for one free price yeah, <laughs> right free. now. Two for one. It used to be $3. We were a buck and a half. Well, Mary was two. I got one. <laughs> no, now we're zero. <laughs> now we're zero. But no, it's so great to bring to you this next edition of The Healthy Life. I really want to get into this, this wonderful topic um, because this will feed your mind. We want to feed your mind today on how to get to your goal and complete your goal and finish your goal, not just to walk away from your goal or put it on hold. So mm -hmm. let me give you a little bit of lead in. OK, when you think about getting to a goal, is it really a straight path to A or B, Mary? I mean, the shortest way is from A to B is a straight path. But we all know that throughout life, no. I mean, we have a plan to go from plan. here to plan. there. Mm. Plan is good. You know, think about your GPS. You know a way to get to one place. And you know it by heart, but then you plug it in that address into your GPS and it takes you 12 different turns on roads you probably never traveled, but got you to that same location in less time. I do that all the time. People think I'm crazy. You didn't know this, Ben. You did not know this. So I have to cut in. People think I'm crazy, and I am, but I will GPS a route that I already know because that famous Google on my phone, it's not a promotion, but this Google on my phone, sometimes it will take me a different way. And you know what? Because they know that there's traffic or whatever, and it takes me around the Roblox. So I am thankful. And yes, I do GPS very uh, familiar. Yeah, and you're, you're on roads that you never traveled, and it still mm -hmm. got you to your destination even mm -hmm. though it took you off that straight beaten path that you knew every time you travel that road to get mm -hmm. to that. That comfortable path. The comfortable path, right. So probably we were traveling that road all our lives because we didn't have that GPS, but now we got it. So think of, think of any goal that you want to complete in life. It may not be a straight path. It can be a hill too. And let me repeat that, a straight path can be a hill too and you know what it's quite all right mm -hmm. you know it may not look like one and it doesn't even feel like one 
But if you're on the path, you'll probably notice that you're moving a little slower and breathing a little harder. Life is often like that. It's not always going to be a treadmill. It's going to be hills if you run outside. And that's okay because, you know, sometimes our challenges can wear us out and our goals can wear us out and we have to climb those hills but we shouldn't turn around and run away from those hills because we feel they're too challenging mm -hmm. you know we start to judge the extra effort things are taking is it worth it is this too much for me maybe we see it as a signal that we're not out for the challenge or up for the challenge that the wind in our face you know, means that we don't have what it takes. Maybe we even start to believe that the journey is always gonna be uphill. Mm -hmm. Think mm -hmm. about a student in school. You know, freshman year to senior year can look a lot different. You know, who could sustain that kind of endless effort? All I gotta do is climb hills. So we turn around and we walk back down the hill and we sell ourselves short. No, we can't do that, friends. We cannot do that. Mary and Ben won't let you do that. Right. We have to take a breath. We have to pause to collect ourselves, pat ourselves on the back for our strength and for our previous accomplishments as we face the hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that, Mary? Have you ever experienced that in your life, hills? Absolutely. <laughs> All the time. I don't know when I'm not on a hill. <laughs> it's mostly because I do it to myself because I'm always adding too much stuff to my plate and everything could be a little crazy sometimes. But you know what? Actually, Ben, if you remember, we asked on our Monday night meeting, what causes you to stop on your journey, on your wellness commitment to yourself? What causes you to stop? And one of the very most popular answers was I wasn't seeing results fast enough. It was getting too hard and I wasn't seeing results fast enough. So this is causing people to give up. They're, they're, going, they're going back where they started from, which is not the way to do it. Like Ben said, you have to stop, take a deep breath. I tell my struggling members all the time, I say that a lot. I did realize that. I say it all the time, but it's really all the time. Like, what else can I say? I tell my struggling members all the time, if you're really struggling, please hold on to that small victory so it can propel you to the next small victory. But so can that small victory. It's okay for that small victory just to be like, you know, I planned my dinner today and I ate like garbage all week, but today I planned my dinner. That is awesome. Go ahead and hold on to you planning your dinner today until the next time you can hold on to a victory. And it doesn't have to be food or weight related. Um, it can just be, you know, like I planned a self-care day or I planned a nice walk for myself or that bubble bath. You heard that bubble bath a lot this Monday um, where members are just taking a nice long bath and listening to a podcast that's putting their mindset. Where Hopefully you, they are listening to ours. <laughs> yes, guys. If you, if you don't have time to watch us on, on YouTube, it is on the podcast on the healthyapp.com. Um, but I mean, you can watch us on YouTube because it's like, look at that. And healthy only costs twenty four ninety nine. Mary's going to post the secret for the year. For the year, that's right. For the year, there's no gimmicks. There's no nothing. You get to eat your own food. You can eat whatever you want. Everything in moderation, people. And you get us, and like a lot of other awesome coaches. You get an amazing app. You get everything. There's no gimmicks. They're not going to try to upsell you. That's it. Well, you got to use. Uh, Mary's going to post her code in the. Uh, Facebook group, Coach Ben and Mary's Weight Loss, Wellness, and Fun at the end of this episode. So can I can I tell them my big secret? Can sure. we just get off topic for a second? Guys, 
Coach Ben and I, we co-host, we co-host a meeting every Monday night. I told you that, but I just got word today. You guys are the first to know um, that I have my own meeting Sunday night at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So come check me out uh, for my own meeting, which I'm really excited about because I learned so much from Ben. Okay, enough about that. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't mean you get off the hook on Monday nights. I'm still there on Mondays <laughs> uh, just because I like to be there. <laughs> but guys, hold on to that small victory. Um, it can be anything from self-care to planning a meal. Um, so it can propel you to the next victory. So you're not giving up on yourself. If you gave up today and started walking back and tracking backwards, where would you be a week from now? Where would you be a month from now? That's true. And if you look at the goal as one big cumulative goal, it's going to be much harder to reach. Think about it's daunting. Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci. He, he painted the Sistine Chapel. You don't think he did a few finger paintings before that uh, his art teacher wasn't thrilled with? Or think about and, Mozart. And do you think he planned to do the, <laughs> to do the Sistine Champ Chapel? He was like, you know, I'm just going to finish this in two weeks. Yeah, I mean, think about Mozart, you know, a musician. It starts in small, small lessons, small victories, you know, but it's okay to be afraid. Mm -hmm. And would you really want your journey or your commitment to anything it could be weight loss it could be to getting your your degree from college it could be running a marathon would you really want it to be that easy would it be as valuable at the end when you committed completed your goal right you think if, it'd be as valuable if it was easy mary if your walk through life was all a breeze how strong would you be yeah. You know, I mean, you, you hear so many rich people out there and they say they're not happy. Hmm. I don't know why, but <laughs> I don't know if I'll <laughs> find out, but happiness um, I think, you know, comes like, in many I, forms. You have to, you know, I don't know for, for me. So, you know, like my journey through my wellness and my food freedom. And if you watched last week's episode about binge eating, it didn't come easy. It took a lot of time. Um, but I know that the skills that I have gained through that long time, through those years until I found my food freedom, I can hold on to them. So when I'm having a rough time, I can say, wait a minute, I need to pull that skill out of my closet. I need to pull that skill, those tools out of my tool belt. Honestly, so then. I had a troublesome weekend this weekend. I ate my face off on Saturday. I really did. And you know what happened? So I ate my face off on Saturday. I candy, <laughs> candy. I, it's, I'm, I'm being honest. You guys, you, if you know me, I'm honest. Ben is honest. We always are truthful with you because we're members too. So we are still going through it. Even though I'm basically in maintenance, I'm still going through it. I still have my pills. So this Saturday, I ate my face off. And then Sunday, I, I could not sleep well because I was like all loaded up with this sugar and, and all this stuff. I was actually in pain. Um, I did not binge, thank God, but I, I was in pain. So I had trouble sleeping. And so Sunday, now I'm tired. I feel crappy. Um, I, I didn't feel great. It wasn't mental. It was actually more physical for me because um, I'm not used to all that, just eating my face off. Um, so Sunday I was tired and I was feeling gr just gross physically. Um, just my body was aching, just kind of processing all that inflammation. Um, so guess what I did again? Ate bad. <laughs> It was, it's, that's where that vicious cycle really comes in. Um, and I was struggling. So I'm, I'm on a hill, but because I have had the process of struggling over the years and learning to find my food freedom, I pulled out some basic skills that I needed and said, Mary, okay, you overate now because you're tired. 
and because you ate bad the day before, you're feeling not great physically, and then you ate bad again, it's okay. Guess what? I have a new moment to be the best version of me. I'm going to give myself the grace to move forward, but I'm also holding myself accountable. I'm not just, you know, it, there's there's a difference between giving yourself grace and letting yourself slide through <laughs> and continue to slide through. I'm holding myself accountable. I'm reeling it in. And uh, and it's it's been a much better week listening to my body, giving myself the nutrition um, that I need. But if I did not have those skills that I obtained through years, honestly, of, of frankly, of, of struggling, and, and obtaining those skills. If I didn't have them, how would I have pulled myself out of this last or kind of- Or climb the hill. That was your hill. Yeah. I didn't, if, I, if I didn't already have my um, spiked boots and my ax pick to continue to climb through the hill, I might've said, this is too hard. I'm giving up. I, I, can, I can't do this. But yeah, I, it's, I didn't. It's so easy to have the confidence not to climb the hill. We have to gain the confidence when we're confronted to climb that hill. We have to try at least. And if we fail, the hill is still there. But if we walk away from the hill and turn around and say, you know what? I don't think I can do this. It's too much. Mm -hmm. Then we feel defeated and old habits creep back in, no matter right. what it is lack of exercise, healthy eating. The problem with weight loss and wellness and the healthy life, the name of our show is weight loss, sorry folks, doesn't end with a charm. It doesn't end with a certificate. It doesn't mm -hmm. end with that. It's something you got to practice all your life. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. ends with you having the skills, like Mary said, to climb that hill. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Another area I, I just want to bring up, Mary, is that the ups and downs of climbing the hill. You know, ups and downs come in patterns. There's always going to be ups and downs in anything in life. Anything. It could be going to the supermarket and they have something out of stock and you got to replace it or it could be the price of gas. Some things we can't control, but we have to give our best efforts and say, mm -hmm. you know what? I've had a lot of ups. So maybe this down, this hill, I'm gonna climb, I'm gonna give it my best shot. You see, our job is to simply see the ups and downs. Once we recognize those ups and downs, not as great big stories that add up to something they're not, your journey, whatever it may be, won't be always fast moving downhill or a thrill ride. It's not the roller coaster going down the hill. Remember, a roller coaster goes up and it goes down. That's how life is. Life is a journey. If things are feeling challenging right now, maybe it's because you aren't coasting. Maybe it's because you're climbing and you're doing the hard part and you don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the key to keep climbing. Don't look at it as a hill. Don't look at it as a down. All right, it's going good this week. Look at it as ups and downs, but look at it as I'm always continually climbing to be the best version of myself. I know it's pretty deep, but look at the journey piece by piece. Take the ups and downs. Recognize them, but just say to myself, I'm on this journey and I'm climbing. Mm -hmm. Down or up, I'm still on my journey. What keeps you on your journey, Mary? With anything. What keeps you on your journey as, as a mother, as a, as a student? What keeps you on your journey? Um, I would say holding on to the good moments. I mean, like every... like. Obviously, <laughs> I'm a mom. I have I have a four year old. I have a 19 year old. Um, you know, Ben and I both have several jobs. Um, she gets hired, right? 
but it's like holding on to those good pieces in life that just kind of keeps me going. So um, this week, I was able to keep my four-year-old home from school because she had a dentist appointment. So did I. And you know what? It was a nice day. And we went to the park. And it was so great just to go to the park. And then we spent time in the front yard. And it was just like, just nice to spend the time together to see her laugh. Like those are the good moments that I hold on to when I'm frustrated, when she's asking me for, you know, a cookie a thousand times and I keep telling her no, when I'm frustrated, but you just like, when you, when I look at her, it just keeps me really just happy. It fills my heart with, with love. I mean, same thing with work, right? You have to remember why you love it. And that keeps you going. It keep if you're holding on to the positive thoughts, those negative thoughts, those negative parts in your commitment or in your journey, they're there to shape you. They're there to make you stronger. It's that shaping that we need that we're, that's where we're building our dedication, our endurance, our strength. I like that you said endurance, endurance, enough endurance to climb that next hill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because you know what, Ben, I mean, like geographically, I mean, I'm not a geographic major, um, but like that hill's not going to go away. If you turn around and that's it, that that hill might even become a mountain next time and you're still ill-prepared for it. Like there's no way around it. You have to go over it. You have to go through it. And Ben and I and Healthy, we're there for you to help you go through it. If you're struggling, that's why we have our, our Facebook group and people are always reaching out to us saying like, listen, I'm really struggling. We help them identify what's, what, what's going on. And then we're going to help give them the tools that they need to go over that hill to get through the struggle. And I can guarantee that you're going to come out with those tools, the endurance, the determination, the strength that you need. And you know what also? The confidence, the confidence to go through it again or something similar because you've already been through it before. And you know, when we look and we climb those hills that get in the way of the straight journey, the straight arrow, whatever you want to call it, we get more confidence. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing that says you can't try again. Don't mm -hmm. fear fear just because you've never done it before. Try mm -hmm. it. You're worth it. You know, it's like you do Zumba, Mary. Uh, you know, I remember when I first, first started weightlifting at 16 years old, I didn't know nothing about this little, this little dungeon gym, but mm -hmm. I still went there and I still tried it. I'm sure I looked weird, funny, and I'm sure the first time you went to Zumba, you were nervous. But if you didn't try it, you would never have that gift in your life, right, Mary? Oh, ab absolutely. The first time somebody, I I tell this story um, because the first time somebody had talked me into doing a class at the gym, I was so nervous. I literally felt like, because I do not like roller coasters, I felt like I was standing there waiting for the class to start and my friend was with me. But I literally felt like I was going to cry, like I was going to throw up, like I was going to poop my pants, <laughs> like everything all in one. I was ready to run out there. And also, too, I was the biggest girl there because it was boot camp. So I was the biggest girl there. I was definitely the most out of shape. And I was like, I cannot do this. Um, but I did it. And now, honestly, classes are my favorite thing because they keep me hyped up. It's like a pep rally for myself. But if I never would have tried it, if I would have ran out of that room, and said, I cannot do this. I'm too big. I'm too unfit. Who knows where I would have been, but I found my love uh, for working out. And also too, like what you said about weightlifting, because I also love to weightlift, that it's not easy to, it's not easy to weightlift. You're not just like breezing through the emotions. You're struggling. You know, that's when my vein in my forehead really is coming out. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but you're getting strong. You're getting strong. You're feeling powerful and you're increasing the weight probably every time that you're going in there. So you're like, yeah, I'm doing this. You know, I, I think of myself as a coach. I've been coaching since 2018 and I probably got a thousand meetings behind me, but I could still remember that first meeting and being mm. observed on. And did I like it at first? Well, I had no choice. I couldn't leave. <laughs> it was a face-to-face -face meeting. It wasn't the Zoom world. But being through that test wasn't fun at the time, but it made me the coach I am today. And I thought, if I walked out on that meeting, how many people's lives would I have not changed? Yeah. Oh, you know? yeah. Absolutely. So, so when you, whatever journey you're on, be it weight loss, wellness, nutrition, getting a college degree, whatever, it, whatever it is, being a parent, think about if you didn't do it, what would be the end result if you didn't climb that hill? Mm -hmm. You know, those those hills shape us to who we become. And those hills, they're necessary. They're necessary. They make you, um, I, I think they make you a better person if you have a few struggles. If you, uh, if you follow me on Instagram or, or Facebook or whatever, you'll see probably 99% of the time my hashtags are do not give up, never give up. Love it. Love it. Well, on that note, Mary. I think we will wrap up this wonderful episode of The Healthy Life. And remember, don't fear those hills. Climb those hills. They're worth it, and you're worth it. We can't wait to see you next Thursday at 8 a.m. Don't forget to like us and follow the channel. And please share it with your friends. They don't have to be healthy members. If they, this is not right. specific to healthy members. You know, if you want to join healthy, best 25 bucks you'll spend a year for Definitely. an app, coaches, the whole thing. You'll get everything you want in one kit and caboodle. Um, and you don't have to pay for anything unnecessary. But we love you. And we thank you for watching our program. We can't wait to see you next week. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.